Podcasting may look hot, but it's still one of the slowest growing mediums ever. And as podcasters, we're partly to blame. Here's how we can fix that without having to change anything about our shows. Hello and welcome to another Podcast Pontifications with me, Evo Terra. We all have a lot of jobs to do as podcasters. You know, making content requires us to wear lots of hats, some of which we're not really well skilled in, but we learn how to be that way. So at the risk of adding too much to your plate, I'm going to give you one more job to perform. And that is becoming an excellent ambassador to podcasting for those who've yet to develop the podcast listening habit. Here's the deal. Your favorite podcast and my favorite podcast are probably different. And we have something in common. <laughs> so there's a very good chance that your favorite podcast will have no appeal to the person on the other end. Also, key in point, the podcast you make might not be their favorite podcast ever. You're probably talking to friends and family. Friends and family want to support you, right? Yeah, well, they also have different interests than you. And yes, they may say, congratulations, but are you really making a podcast that they really want to listen to that will be their favorite? Also, recommending the most popular podcast probably isn't a good idea. I mean, let me give you an example of what I mean by, by these by these concepts, switching out of podcasting, right? If someone has never been to a hockey game, I love ice hockey, you don't take them to their first experience to see a game played by seven-year-olds. I mean, sure, that's a lot of fun, but you're not going to instill a long-time love of hockey if that's their first experience. Then again, you also should not buy them ice seats at a professional game and walk away from them. <laughs> no, instead you guide them through the process. Watch some TV with them, watch some games, talk about the game, whatever. You, you, you are a good guide to get them into the weird game that is ice hockey. If someone's never had a beer, I don't know, they grew up in a very religious community or country or family, the first beer you give them should not be a Budweiser. You're not going to make that person into a craft beer drinker. Then again, you also should not slam a super hoppy double IPA in front of them either. It's going to be bad experiences. They're never going to come back. No, instead, you find out about their tastes. You guide them through the process. See, 70% of the listening, excuse me, 70% of the world still doesn't listen to podcasts on a regular basis. Little over half said they've tried podcasts, but for a lot of them, it was a bad first time experience. Why should they come back? You've got a chance here, maybe their second time listening has to really grab their attention. And so what I'm imploring you to do for your, their second time, you have to present to them not your show, not the favorite show that you have, and certainly not the most popular show you, that you have, that you've ever heard of. No, you need to give them an any, an any, I-H-N-I, which stands for, I had no idea that's what a podcast could be. That's what you need to deliver to them, that experience. Their very next experience of a podcast, of listening to a podcast, must make them say, wow, I had no idea this is what's in this podcast giant pile that's millions of shows large. There are things like this. Now, here's a simple technique of how you can do that. You install a second podcatcher on your phone. And you do not listen to things on this your this podcast podcatcher <laughs> on your phone. You instead subscribe to one, two, three, four, whatever the number is. That has to be crazy. A handful of shows, not that you like, not that are your favorites, not that are terribly popular, but shows that really encapsulate the, wow, I had no idea. That's it. So when the inevitable 
hey, I hear that you're a podcaster. What should I listen to conversation comes around? You don't have to think. You can turn off your marketer brain. You can turn off the part that says, ooh, one more person. No. You're going to be an ambassador, right? You're going to be an excellent ambassador for all of us. And so now you pull out your phone, you go to that second podcast listening app that you don't really use, and you say, here are some examples. Here's something I would recommend for you to listen to. And the nice thing, because you're subscribed, you can actually have them listen right there. Or you can have them put that same app on their phone and add those shows to it. You have lots of opportunities to not talk about you, not talk about what's popular, but to give them a show that will make their eyes really open to the possibilities, I guess their ears open really possibilities, to what podcasting can be with an any. Now, there are other ways to spread the word about innies like this. I, I do it every Sunday at 9 o'clock in the morning, Phoenix time. That's 4 p.m. London and 11 p.m. Bangkok time when I'm talking about podcast fiction. That's a subset of podcasting which I am deeply in love with. Not really involved with, but I'm deeply in love with it these days. And I listen to a lot of that content. So I'm sharing content every Sunday at 9 o'clock. There's a link in the episode description if you would like to join me this coming Sunday. So you can uh, chime in and find out what podcast fiction I am listening to. No, it's not really, it's a podcast. Now, the tough part here is choosing what shows go in your any list. It's hard. Here's what I suggest that you do. You got friends in podcasting, right? Well, ask around. Send them this episode, sure. Hey, look, little marketing ploy for myself. Yeah, obviously, send them a link to this episode so they can understand the power of why you need to do this and then maybe collectively communicate over whatever distance communication tools that you have and come up with a, a list. Here are some great things I think are wonderful. What do you think? And, you know, add that to your list and share it with others. If you want to support the show and the ideas that I come up with here every day on Podcast Pontifications, please go to buymeacoffee.com slash evoterra and do that. And I shall be back tomorrow with yet another Podcast Pontifications. Cheers. Cheers.